Everyone keep a lookout. Captain, it looks like they're heading our way. We should be able to see them out of the window any minute now. Dashi, sound the Octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Octonauts, the eels are on the move. They should be here any minute. This only happens one time each year, so we don't want to miss it. <gasps> there they are. Eels. <gasps> lots and lots of them. Let me get a picture. Yeah, they're in a big hurry to get somewhere. But where? They're on their way from the ocean up the river to the lake. It's a dangerous journey. No one knows exactly how they do it. Octonauts, our mission is to follow these eels and find out. Shellington. Thank you, Captain. Every year, a group of young eels travels from the ocean where they were born up the river to this lake where they will live. That looks easy enough. Ah, but there are all kinds of dangers along the way, Quasi. Rocks, rough bumpy water, sudden twists and turns in the river. I'd like to try that trip myself. And that's why you'll be driving the Guppe with me on this mission. Aye, aye, Captain. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, to the launch bay. Come on, mateys. Those slippery eels have a head start, and we've got to catch up. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You've got it, Cap. We've already made it into the river. We should catch up with the eels in no time, Captain. I hope things don't get too bumpy for us or for them. Yeah. Where be those eels? Ah, there they are. Let's go. No one's ever followed the eels moving up the river this closely before. We're going upstream, and the water keeps pushing us back. Quasi, I'm going to need your help. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Steer with me. One, two, three. <sighs> Thanks, Quasi. Now let's catch up with those slippery little fellas. Eels are swimming fast. Aye, well we can go as fast as they can. We're gaining on them, Captain. Wow, getting past these rocks is no problem for these eels. Amazing. Anywhere they can go, we can go too. to Barnacles. Are you all right? We're all right, Dashy. We're just going for a little spin. <laughs> oh, no. I hope they're not hurt. Barnacles to the octopod. We're all OK. But the guppe has, um, well, crashed. But how will you keep going? There's no reason we can't swim after him, Captain. Good idea. Let's go. Barnacle's out. Now, where be those eels? There they are. They really are good climbers. Let's find out what's on the other side of those rocks. Jumping jellyfish. The eels are getting out of the water and travelling on land. Let's investigate. Look at them wriggle right over the mud and dirt. That's fascinating. Eels can breathe air for a short time, so they can leave the water and go over land if they have to. Nothing stops them on their way up the river. Nothing. Uh -oh. Help. Hey. Help. Did somebody say something? Help. 
Where are you? Down here. Hello there. Are you stuck? Yes, and I really need to get out. Hmm. Can you grab onto this, matey? Yes, go on. Pull me up and please hurry. <sighs> did you fall into that hole, little eel? Yes, yes I did. If there's a hole in the ground, I'll be the one eel who falls into it. So, thanks very much for getting me out, but I really have to be on my way. <coughs> oh, ow, ouch! Oh, my tail hurt. <laughs> I can't move. Don't worry. Don't worry? My friends are getting farther and farther away, and now my tail's hurt. I can't even wiggle. I'll never catch up to my friends like this. We can help you. Really? Of course. We are the Octonauts. What seems to be the trouble? It's me tail. It hurts so much I can't move. <sighs> you need a bandage. <laughs> that was fast. It feels better already. Thanks. You're welcome. And now I've really got to get going. You need to rest for a while. Oh, I can't rest. Must keep moving. Got to catch up to me friends. Captain, he's not strong enough to make a long swim up the river. I'm afraid he'll never make it to the lake on his own. We'll make sure he's not left behind. Oh, I may need a little help getting back in the water. We'll give you more than a little help. Aye, we'll take you all the way to the lake. Oh, thanks. It won't be easy, but we'll swim up the river just like the eels and make sure our friend gets to the lake safe and sound. Aye, aye. Ready, Captain. let's go. Oh, and one more thing. We'll need the smallest life belt we've got. Octonauts, let's do this. <sighs> that water's too rough to swim over, and those rocks are too high. This will take some teamwork. Think you can get this to the top, Quasi? No problem, Captain. <sighs> Let's go. A key. We're going through. We're really, really close now. All we have to do is swim through that. Yeah! We have to swim through that. But we're almost there, I promise. The lake is just on the other side. I really have to get there. We're going in. Follow me. Everyone okay? Just fine. The lake is so calm and beautiful. Hi, and full of squirmy eels. Where were you? We lost you. We were worried. These are my friends. Oh, thanks for getting me here. Well, you young eels certainly work hard to get where you're going. I admire your determination. It's what we do. And when we're old enough, we'll head back down the river to the ocean and have baby eels of our own. And when those babies are old enough, they'll make their journey up the river. Aye, and we'll get to have this adventure all over again. Crashing the duck, going through tunnels, swimming through rapids and over rocks. Right, Peso? If you say so. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Welcome to Antarctica, the coldest place on Earth. It's too cold for pirates. But not for my cousins, the Adelie penguins. I can't wait for you to meet them. Hi, me hearty. Why couldn't we meet them somewhere warmer? Adele penguins don't live anywhere else in the world. Antarctica is their only home. We've come to visit at the perfect time. The chicks have just hatched. And Quasi, Peso and I are going to give their parents a little help. Yeah, what kind of help? Babysitting, of course. Babysitting? Quasi, Peso, to the guppe. <laughs> So? Thanks for keeping an eye on the chicks while we swim out into the ocean for food. Mum, Dad, can I come too? I'm not too scared to swim in the ocean. You're still a chick. You haven't grown your seagoing feathers yet. Yeah, Rocco. Grown-up penguins have special feathers that keep us warm in the freezing water. You'll get too cold swimming in the ocean. It could make you sick. Bye, Rocco. We'll be back soon. Keep an extra eye on my Rocco. He's a daredevil, completely fearless. Don't worry, I know the type. <laughs> so, what's in the box? Presents for everyone. <laughs> a rock! A rock. That's right. Adelie penguins collect little rocks to build their nests. See? Line up, everyone, and we'll pass them round. <laughs> My name is Flip. And I'm Flap. Oh, here's a present for you. And one for you. Your little rock is better than my little rock. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, well, uh, let's see. Here we go. These two rocks are exactly the same. Thank you. Good work, Peso. Captain, there's an iceberg on the loose and it's heading for the octopod. I'm on my way. Peso, Quasi, you'll have to handle the babysitting without me. Yeah, I'll miss all the excitement. Not all the excitement. I'll babysit most of the chicks and you babysit Rocco. Just Rocco? I can do that with one paw tied behind the back. Flip! Flap! Come away from that ledge! Phew! Ah! <sighs> well, it looks like it's just you and me. So, what? Rocco? Where'd he go? Rocco! Quasi! Can I... <laughs> <laughs> That's what my mum always says. <laughs> Let's swap rocks. I want my old rock back. Why? Because it's better. I'm sure the rocks that I gave you were exactly the same. No, my old rock had a brown spot on it and this one doesn't. Let's swap back. No. I'm sure we can work this out. Now flip. Mum, flap. He's flip. Oh, sorry, flap. You mean flip? Yes, floop. I mean fleep. I mean oh flappity flippers. <sighs> flap. If you flip over your rock, you'll see it has a brown spot just like flaps. I mean flips. You're right. Flappy now. I mean happy now. Happy. Phew. See that bird up there? Hi, matey. I like to play a little game with him. Watch this. Hey there, you. See? Now he's coming to get me! Shiver! Whiskers! He is coming to get you! <laughs> that was fun! That was close. Rocco, me hearty. You have to be a little more careful. Even in my pirate days, I know... Where'd he go? Rocco? Quasi! Cannonball! <laughs> I think Captain Barnacles has the easy job today. This water is getting rough. Dashy to Captain Barnacles. There's a storm about to hit and it's me. The iceberg has changed direction. It's heading towards me. <laughs> Dashy, sound the octopus. 
Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's a big storm on the way. That's dangerous for the Adelie penguin parents. They could get lost at sea. The storm will blow ice and snow onto the shore. Peso and Quasi will need to find a way to keep the chicks warm. Dashi, contact Peso and tell him to get ready for ice and snow. Ready on it, Captain. I'll find and rescue the Adelie penguin parents, but I'll need a bigger gup. Tweak, meet me outside the octopod with the gup C. Got it, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> I'm coming to get you! Oh, got you! Two more! Hold tight! Hop on board! Bandage rolls as fast as you can. Ready? Aye, but go! That should do. Wow. It's perfectly hearty. Everyone, inside the tent! <laughs> this is so exciting! I don't want to go inside and miss the big storm! Rocco, it's too cold for you out here, matey! Oh, alright! <laughs> that ought to do it! Nice and cosy! Right, Rocco? Where's Rocco? He's not in here. Then he's out there. I'm going after him. Rocco! Rocco! <laughs> Rocco! I'm too cold to move. Hold on, Macy! I'm coming for you! will bring them home. And nothing can stop the captain, matey! <gasps> but an iceberg on the beach can really slow him down. <sighs> Not that iceberg again. How will we get home, Captain? Don't worry. The Gulf Sea was built to break through ice. Penguins, this could get bumpy. Where's Quasi? Just one more time, eh, matey? Open up and say, ah. Uh, 
very good. Say ah. Ah. Good. Say ah. Ah. No, not ah. Just ah. Ah. Mmm, parrotfish. Just in time for lunch. Ooh, I've never tried a penguin before. Oh, I know I shouldn't eat you. You seem so nice, but I'm a great white shark. I can't help it. Couldn't you try to help it? Aye, all right. Trying. No, gotta eat you. Sorry. <gasps> Looks like a big metal fish. Never tried one of those. Captain Barnacles, come in. What is it, Peso? I'm being chased by a great white shark. <laughs> and he got a piece of the gum. <laughs> Tweak, open the octo hatch now. You got it, Cap. <laughs> That's horrible. I think I'd rather have the penguin. Just a little bit further, Peso. Tweak, close the octo hatch now. Ouch! Oh, yeah. Cap, the shark is stuck. But if we open the hatch any further, he'll get in. We need to create enough water pressure to blast the shark out without hurting him. Tweak, activate Super Flush! It worked! The shark is out! But look! <laughs> the shark must have hurt his fin swimming into the octopod. Looks like he could use a bandage. I suppose we should. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's an injured great white shark out there that needs our help. But we must be careful. The great white shark is one of the most powerful predators in the sea. And one of the hungriest. That's true. He does like to eat, and he'll try just about anything to see if he likes it. If he doesn't, he'll just spit it out. Well, I'm not afraid of any shark. I don't care how great he is. Peso, I can bandage him. Um, Quasi, I'm the medic. It's my job to help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. <laughs> Shellington, is there a way to safely approach the great white shark? There is one way. Sometimes, when a shark is flipped over on its back, it gets very calm and peaceful. But, he only stays that way for a short amount of time. I could bandage the shark if it were calm and peaceful, but he's swimming away! Oh! 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 oh. Many sharks have to keep moving to stay alive. If they stop moving, they can't breathe. Then we'll need to flip the shark over to calm him down. Keep him moving so he can breathe, and then Peso can bandage him up. Tweak, prepare the Gup X. Great white shark straight ahead. Attention shark. We are the Octonauts, and we're here to help. Ooh, that looks tasty. It's all right. I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... Oh! As I was saying, I... Oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. But a shark's good to eat. <laughs> you can't eat the gub eggs. He's getting tired. And if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving and he won't be able to breathe. Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain. Yow! Oh, you shark! Uh, can you not see I'm trying to eat? You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. 
Seriously? Ooh. I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! Oh, my fun hurts. Mm. But I'm still gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Ah. Good work, Quasi. And click! Oh, I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be your friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clap. Time for the next part of the plan. <laughs> that kind of tickles. <laughs> Good for a ride. Okay, the shark is calm, he's moving, and he's breathing. Now I can bandage his fin. Be careful, Peso, and quick. The shark won't be calm for long. Right ho, Peso. Nice and steady. Ah! Ooh, a wee penguin. I'm here to bandage your fin. <laughs> that tickles, Pop. <laughs> uh oh, I didn't know you were ticklish. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Steady. Just have to get down to the fin. Okay, I think this calls for a super speedy triple loop around the shark fin wrap. Hurry, Peso. He could come out of his trance any second. There. Good as new. How do you feel? Oh, good. I'm hungry. Oh, no. You're out of your trance. Peso! Flappity flippers. You saved my life. I should just say thank you, but I'm hungrier than ever. Hop on, matey. A cat, a penguin, and a crunchy motor thingy. That's an all you can eat party! Hey, I feel fantastic! Was he the shark's after us? No problem. We just need some more speed. Hold on! Quasi, keep away from the shark for as long as you can. Copy that, Captain! I've got an idea. Tunip, come in. Uh, I need an extra large supply of fish biscuits. The snack shooter, Judith. <laughs> All right, Quasi, try to lead the shark towards the surface. I've got a little snack for him. Come on, Sharky, right this way. Quasi, look. Captain, we're almost out of power! Can you get the Octoski up in the air? Aye, aye, Captain! Oh, oh, yummy! Bullseye! Yeah, we better get out of here! Uh oh! You're right. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm not hungry. You're not? Nope. The most delicious fish biscuits just flew into my mouth. It was so strange. And now I don't have to eat you. Which is great, because I love you guys. You fixed my fin. Thanks. But just a warning. I could get hungry again. In that case, how about a little dessert? 